Hello everyone, um, my name is Victoria Hansen and this is my introduction video for human biology. So I'm currently deployed in Kosovo this semester with the Ohio National Guard and I decided to take human biology as an elective that I was just interested in and I'm excited to further my knowledge in the course and um, hopefully strive to get that A. So for my uh, three strengths that I identified um, as a student is I am proactive. I like to give myself more than enough time to complete assignments and um, quizzes and lectures and I feel if I um, put it off and procrastinate that um, it really affects the quality of my work um, that I put into an assignment when I'm uh, worrying more about uh, the time I have left instead of focusing on the assignment itself. Um, secondly, I put that um, I'm repetitive and by that I mean I like to study at the beginning of the week and then over and over and over again throughout the week. That way um, I'm not really just memorizing something but actually understanding the material and making it a little more second nature for me. Um, and then thirdly I put um, that I'm organized. This one's really important for me because this really helps me to stay on track with assignments <clears throat> and deadlines and all my material that I need when I'm studying for my course. Um, uh, so for an example that I have for this class is I printed off the part of the syllabus that has um, our dates and um, assigned readings and assignments and um, all of our deadlines for week by week. That way when I complete one, I'll just highlight it off and I can see if I'm behind schedule, right on track, or behind. And that, that really helps me um, keep track with all my assignments um, week by week. So that might be a helpful trick for some of you guys uh, to try. Um, it helps me anyways. So um, uh, for my three weaknesses, um, as a student is one specifically being here is I study in my bed and that causes me to get distracted um, not be able to take notes very well um, and I get tired so for me um, I have to uh, stop studying in bed and for a way that I figured that out for me is I turned one of my wall lockers into a Desk. and I can show you guys real quick what I put together here and um, this is a lot easier for me to stay focused when I'm studying. Um, for my second I put that um, I put motivation and by that is sometimes when we're studying not everything uh, we study um, sparks an interest or um, I, I, or something that I maybe not enjoy as much and um, I find myself uh, not being quite as motivated to uh, learn that certain topic maybe. So uh, to overcome that one, um, it helps me to maybe uh, talk with someone about it and uh, kind of forces me to uh, expand my knowledge so I know what I'm talking about. And another way is, um, for example, is I can talk to my mom. She um, uh, loves science. Uh, she worked in a lab uh, for a really long time. She taught hematology and so when um, I'm studying something that I'm not maybe interested in and I ask her, her um, excitement and passion kind of rubs off on me, motivates me a little bit more to uh, put in a little more effort on that material. So for my third weakness I put that I overthink and sometimes when I'm reading a question or um, instructions for an assignment, I kind of overthink what it's asking me. And it can cause me to uh, miss a question or spend too much time on a question and um, spend too much time deciphering the sentence itself. So a way around that for me is to realize I'm doing it and try to think of a way if I was explaining it to someone else and that will cause me to simplify it a little more. Um, um, so those are my three weaknesses and um, the end of my video. Um, I'm excited to work with all you guys 
and I'm excited uh, for this semester and by the end of it I'll be really close to going home so I'm super excited for that too and I hope everyone else uh, does well in the course and um, thank you so